are the best teams in the NFL. Today, we're going to put all 32 teams into my power rankings based off my tier list. We got Super Bowl contenders, playoff locks, fringe playoff teams that are like good, bad. Oh, we don't really know. We'll see. They could make it. They could not. Mid is AF, like super mid, bro. Like just mid. Not ass ass, but mid. And then we got ass ass, obviously. I feel like y'all have a couple of locks that are going to be ass ass. But first up, as per usual, we start with the Arizona Cardinals. They got a big win last night against the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. But, oh, but it didn't show me a whole much. Like, uh, Kyler's still missing throws to Marvin Harrison. Be wide open on some double moves. He's still missing throws. Defense came to play. I'm not going to lie. They gave up five field goals, so they did something. They didn't allow any touchdowns. Um, to a Chargers team that's also probably going to be in the mid-AF type of List, three wins, um, could be better. Both teams are lacking a lot of star power. And, yeah, besides their quarterbacks, like, you look around, they got one or two good players on the rest of the team. That's, you know, insane. The Falcons just lost to Seattle, bro. Like, I don't know. I thought Seattle was ass-ass. They had three straight L's. Um, now the Falcons dropped to a, a playoff fringe team, a French playoff team. Four and three, they're about to... You know, whoever wins this division is probably going to make the playoffs. Um, it's going to be the Falcons and the Bucks, so we will see. They play next week in their second game of the season already, both 4-3, and three, so the winner of that will definitely have an edge in that division. Got the best team in football right here. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson's the MVP. Um, Zay Flowers and Rashad Bateman look like a great duo. Mark Andrews is back. Isaiah Likely still there, and Derrick Henry's the best running back in the league. He got best quarterback, best running back in the league. Um... You're looking, you're looking, you're looking, you're looking good. You're sitting pretty right now in the NFL. Um, and they're what five and two, five straight wins. Derrick Henry scoring touchdowns every game and just running all every all over everybody. So they're looking good. The Buffalo Bills um, just got Amari Cooper. Um, I think with Josh Allen, um, Amari Cooper a clear number one receiver on that team now. And if they can get healthy, bro, they're definitely a Super Bowl contender for sure. A playoff lock as well. But I would throw them as one of the three teams that I can see coming out of the AFC this season. Uh, the Panthers, like, Jane Daniels didn't even play, and y'all still lost by 30. Like, I bet Panthers plus 10, and them boys still got blown out. So, it's kind of nutty, but whatever. The Bears, I want to put the Bears as a lock for the playoffs, but, bro, everybody in their division is good as well. And currently, their last, everybody in their division just won this week besides the Vikings, but they were undefeated, so they still have one loss. Uh, but yeah, the Bears are four and two. Got a big game against Washington next week, so that'll tell me a lot that I need to know about the Bears and Washington as well, based off the winner of that game. The Bengals mid AF. Um, they play the Eagles this week. Knowing the Eagles, they're gonna let Jamar Chase and T Higgins go absolutely bonkers. And you know when it gets cold, that's when them boys Joe Burrow and them actually start to hoop. So it could be bad for the Eagles and Eagles fans like myself. But we'll see. They could potentially move up if they go on a couple game win streak. Might be a fringe playoff team. Um, but it's tough because they got two teams in that division that are playing very well right now. The Browns, ass ass. It's sad. Deshaun got hurt out for the season. Not like he was playing great anyway, but you never want to see someone go down with a season ending injury. Jameis' speech was, you know, like, that's a real homie. But it was obviously funny because, you know, it's Jameis. Um, but yeah, Dallas Cowboys, French playoff team, they are mid, but it's the Cowboys, bro. They're going to find a way maybe to make the playoffs, obviously not win in the playoffs, but make the playoffs. They're a little injured. Micah needs to come back. Um, Deron Bland's going to come back soon. And I don't know. We'll see. But Dak's making too much money to be put in the mid AF. The Broncos, four wins. Ridiculous. I don't know how. Um, I still think they're a mid football team though. Especially without Pat Sertan playing. I don't think it's a good football team. Uh, they play the Saints, who literally are injured at every position. But the Saints also suck. So, it is what it is. But, yeah, I think the Broncos are a mid-team. But they have four wins, so I got to put some respect on their name a little bit. But playoffs, no shot. Lions, looking like the best team in the NFC. The NFC is looking like they got to go through the Detroit Lions. Um, they just beat one of the best defenses in the league, uh, in the Minnesota Vikings. So, they're also looking very good going into the season so far through, what, seven weeks? Um, so, yeah, the Lions are definitely up there. Packers, first playoff lock that we got. I think the Packers, 
um, when healthy. And if Jordan Love just doesn't turn the ball over, they look like the second best team in that division over the Vikings and the Bears. For now. For now. It's still week seven. There's still a lot of football left to be played. But um, right now, the Packers are looking good, bro. They're getting wins. They got five. Um, they're five and two. I think that's three straight wins. Jordan Love is throwing for 350 yards every game, three-plus touchdowns. Um, Josh Jacobs looks good. So we'll see. The Texans, it's like they're they're an okay football team. Nico Collins got hurt, so that's been tough for C.J. Stroud, but you still got hella weapons. And the only reason they're a playoff lock is because they play in the worst division in football with the Colts, the Jags, and the Titans. All three of those teams are booty meat. Uh, so, yeah, I got to put them in a playoff lock because they're going to win their division, and that's an automatic playoff uh, position. So, good for the Texans. Um, you know, they took a tough loss to the Packers. It was a close game, but C.J. Stroud threw for like 84 yards, and that was pretty disappointing. Uh, the Colts, mid, mid-football mid team, also injured. Need Jonathan Taylor back. For some reason, every year I have hope for the uh, Colts because I think Anthony Richardson can be really good, and you got Jonathan Taylor. Michael Pittman's a solid receiver. Josh Downs, Alec Pierce, A.D. Mitchell. It's a decent four-man of receivers. And they got a great offensive line. Defense, not too familiar with their defense. But, you know, it is what it is. The Jags, I don't know how the Jags just fell off. They were so good for like two years, kind of. And now they're just like doo-doo. Like Brian Thomas looks like one of the best wide receivers in the league. But Trevor Lawrence is boo-boo. Their defense is boo-boo. They should have lost to the Patriots. But the Patriots are just much worse. So it is what it is. Um, what I hate to do right here is put the Chiefs as Super Bowl contenders because they don't look good, bro. But how can I put a team that's six and oh not as a Super Bowl contender? Like, they literally haven't lost a game, and Patrick Mahomes doesn't look like a top five quarterback. Um, they're missing wide receiver one, wide receiver two, wide receiver three. Um, they're starting running back, they're literally missing everybody, and they're still six and oh. There's no Pacheco, no Rasheed Rice, there's no Hollywood Brown. Um, I don't even know who wide receiver three is, Juju, I guess. Um, and I think they're missing a corner, bro. So, like, they're doing a lot with little. And I got to gotta respect it because Mahomes, whatever he does, he just is a winner. Even if he's playing, like, dog water. Raiders, ass-ass. Like, it's, eh, their season's over. They might as well tank for Shadur or Quinn Ewers or Carson Beck or Cam Ward. One of those four. Those are probably going to be the four top quarterbacks going. Um, I'm not sure if any of these teams, maybe the Browns take a quarterback. But, yeah, we'll see. Chargers, 3-3. Three and three, um, Not sold on their team. J.K. Dobbins couldn't run the ball last night against a bad Cardinals rush defense. Um, and they couldn't score a touchdown. Kick five field goals. Dicker to kicker. That boy got a leg, though. Pause. He could kick the shit out the ball. Um, so that's pretty lit. The Rams, also mid. Cooper Cup's going to play Thursday. And I just saw Puka is coming off IR. So in about two weeks, the Rams should be back in action. I know their O-line is still a little injured. But... I mean, their record's not good, but they're getting their players back at a good time, so maybe they can go on a little run. Um, Same type of thing for the Dolphins, bro. They're in the same boat. Like, Tua's hurt, and they suck, but Tua's coming back this week. So I think we see an explosive offense from uh, the Dolphins again coming back this week. Not sure who they play, but I feel like having Tyreek back can only be good. So I'm going to put them as mid right now. Um, The Vikings dropped a lot for me. Um, I don't know how far Sam Darnold's going to take them, bro. And, yeah, it's in a tough division. Um, There's a lot of these teams I'm just not sure about. Yeah, they got one loss, but it's a long season. They still got to play a lot of division games. And if they're losing those division games, they're not going to make the playoffs. But they are 5-1, and one, so, you know, we'll see. Patriots, ass-ass. Don't even have to speak about them. Saints, ass-ass. Giants, ass-ass. Three teams right here that are just bad, bro. Just bad football teams. Um, it's sad to see because at one point in my life, these three teams were incredible teams. But not right now. The Jets are mid-AF, but like people are still holding out hope for them, thinking that they might do something useful this season. I think they're, what, 2-5, and 2-4 and four right now? Um, that's really bad. But you have an incredible – you have the best wide receiver, two in the league in Garrett Wilson. So we'll see. Devontae, I don't know. That team is, it shocks me how bad they are, but we'll see. The Eagles, I think the Eagles are a playoff lock. They're starting to get uh, under control with their team. They've won two straight after two tough losses to the Bucks and the Falcons. Um, offense looks good again. Jalen Hurts is making plays. 
no turnovers the past two games. Big test for them against the Bengals this week because, you know, the Bengals have high-flying offense. Um, but, yeah, Saquon's looking like the steal of the offseason. He's looking incredibly good. Um, Steelers with Russ look good, bro. They might be a lot because they're probably going to come second or first in their division. Um, they're going to win at least two, 10 games, you know, Mike Tomlin. Uh, so they're looking good. They got, they're five and two. Um, they still get to play the Browns twice this season. So that's probably two dubs. The Bengals, they'll probably split with them and they might split with the Ravens. So that's looking like four wins right there just in the division. Uh, so yeah, that's already nine wins and they just got to win another one. I think they can go 10 and seven for Shoddy. Um, the Niners, their French playoff team, um, them and the Seattle Seahawks are right in the same boat. So I think Seattle's in first place with four and three, and the Niners are like three and four, three and three, something like that. But this is going to be one team from the division to make it. Um, it's not looking good for either of these teams right now. 49ers are very injured, like extremely injured, and it's it's ugly for them. But Seattle, I don't know how they won against the Falcons, bro. They was lost three straight, and they beat a team that I thought was pretty good. So I'm not sure. But we'll add... Um, the Bucks and the French playoff teams because it's between the same thing as the AF, the NFC East. I mean, the NF, NFC West and the NFC South, same boat. Top two teams, I think only one team makes the playoffs because, um, you know, they're just going to be beating each other up. But the Bucks and the Falcons both get to play the Saints and the Panthers in the division, so that should be extra two wins for both of them. Um, Titans suck. And the Washington Commanders, I think, are playoff lock. Um, so, yeah. That's what it looks like. The commanders are look good without Jane Daniels. Hopefully, Jane Daniels can stay healthy. You never want to see anybody get injured. But, yeah, that's our list. Let's look at last week's list. Pretty similar. Playoff teams, fringe playoff teams. We bumped up uh, you, bumped down, bumped down, bumped down. And, yeah, we added, we got rid of almost as as. So, yeah, that's solid. But here's the list. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in to this Week 7 power rankings, so yeah, it's been lit. Let's get it.